Hi everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. <clears throat> I didn't buy this full kit. Um, I bought this my uh, upliner made up packs for us to buy. So I bought a pack. So we got, you know, some of this designer series paper. I think we got two sheets of each. Uh, six by six. Some of these flowers and some are these bronze sentiments so I have made up this this is what I've done with the kit that I got it is a gift card thank you card a tent folding one and in here you put your gift card she says it's not a gift card this is just a bank card I've used they're the same size so, and you just stick that in there. I just thought it was a good idea to thank somebody. If you want to buy my Starbucks or a Costa coffee voucher, you can pop it in there and say thank you. Or any gift card you want. So that's what we're going to make today. Right, to make this card, I have got a Knight and Navy top folding card at four and one eighth and the length of an A4 sheet. I'm just saying that because America and England are different sizes. A piece of melon mambo at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white at five and a half and by three and three quarters. Now I have got the opposite ends of these two pieces of paper. I did cut this at three and five eighths by five and three eighths and then sliced it down the middle. So I've done that. Now this bit I cut too short. When I cut that it was too long what should I say so I cut a bit off and cut it too short. So what I did I added a strip of the bronze um, mirror card that came with the kit across the top just so that it fits. I've got two flowers left which I'm going to arrange across the top. Oh, I know what I was going to do that way and that. get on there. I have got a different sentiment and that will sit there and to make the little, they're called seed bags actually, I have got some retired Night in Navy um, DSP. This is from kind of eclectic paper, not sure, but we're going to make this little um, pocket bag thing with this and that is for the for you sentiment which is the glitter paper from the pack and just an oval this is the first oval in the layering ovals and that's the first scalloped layering oval so that's all the bits I need I have got an extra one in case I mess up my stamping on that. So first we'll make the pocket. Oh, I didn't do any sizes. All I did was put that in there and just fold it over. And just fold it over. That's all I did. Wrap the paper around the card. Then I fold it up the bottom and fold it up the top. Took the card out and scored it all. Not scored it, uh, burnished it. Oh, 
I will tell you before I cut all this the size of this paper Right, this paper measures five and one eighth by four and a half. So that's five and one eighth by four and a half, right? Uh, with my paper snips, I cut up that fold line. And I cut this off. Same as this side. Cut that off and cut up the fold line. Up with the top, do the same. up the fold line and then you end up with a piece like this fold it back over And just glue that down. Right. At the bottom, I did put a slight wedge in it and Glued it down. Just make sure that the card fits. Ooh. Yeah. And that will fold down like that. But we don't fold it down. What we do do, and I never got out, which I'll get out. Trio punch so I can round off the corners. Take that card out. Right. There we are. Round off corners. And that's our little gift card holder done. Right, to do that we're going to stick stamp for you on this tiny oval and for that I got it out of Beauty Abound and just that little tiny for you. And I'm going to use Mellow Mambo ink. And I have a stamp mounted. I should bring this closer. And I shall stamp that on there. Perfect. If I had messed it up, I did ha already have one stamped, <laughs> just in case. Right, on the other um, sentiment, might as well do that as well. I've got thank you from humming along. Well, I'm using that thank you. So we'll just pop that in the middle, I hope. Yeah, so that's that. Uh, 
that's all our stamping done. Just them two words. Right. No. This one, we're going to stick it on our glitter background. And then this will get stuck flat to our little pouch. There we are. Right, I'll just pop that to the side. Put that in there. And then we'll start putting this together. So let's get this bit on. I'm leaving a little border. the edge and that's like that. Right with this one just glue the middle and the sides. Don't glue the top or you won't be able to put the uh, um, holder in, the gift card holder in. Whoops, it's a bit low. And that will sit in there like that. So, right, how was I going to arrange these flowers like? Like that. Yeah. So we just want to put glue on the bottom half of the flowers. Looks really pretty, doesn't it? I do like the paper. But I'm so retired now. Out for one day. But I will still use it. And pop this on. Onto the card. And then we want a piece for the inside so that you could write your message of why you're thanking them for a Or why are you sending them a thank you card? So that will go in there. Like that. That's it. And this will put on dimensionals. And 
replace that there. And there you have it. Hope you like it. Nice little gift card holder card. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified of any more, whenever I upload any more videos, please press the bell icon. And I usually upload on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.